Repair cracked and broken motorcycle or scooter, fairings or plastic pieces with a solder iron and cable ties. Today I'm going to show you this in practice. So you can see the part that I've already got here that you can see it's broken up into many pieces. So the main thing is find the right pieces and put them together. And you'll see here I put um, them together to make sure they were the right pieces that I am using. And that helps a lot. Uh, in the process. Next I clean the location that this is a scooter foot well. It's a thick plastic type material. I clean the location, I put a bit of tape down and held the pieces into place where they need to go on one side because we're going to do a solder iron with plastic cable ties on both sides. Take a swig of tea, it will give you a bit of power and turn it over and you'll see here um, this is a GoPro, not GoPro, but an action camera, so it's a bit not as close as I would like to have to be in. But you'll see a few sh uh, close shots as you go through this. Um, and if you haven't seen my other video about how to solder plastic, that might be handy because I did a close up on that one. So here you'll see I'm basically using the cable tie and the solder iron with a chisel flat tip, and I'm melting the, the cable tie in little droplets along the crack because there's quite a big crack along the foot well and I'm putting little drops down to hold it into place and then what I'll do is I'll go and make a line of weld with the plastic cable tie and that will act as a helping hand to mold together the location that's broken to the outside a uh, good location so work your way down the line however well broken it is or however big it is in pieces and sections if you can keep a fan on in the background if you can just to blow that air out what i was doing is i was blowing on it to push it away towards the fan and then the fan is blowing it out of the room uh, well garage actually so uh, yeah don't do it inside it stinks a lot so now you'll see even with one side it's quite stable uh, I'll move it around and give it another shot so you can at least see how the weld took place. You'll see it's it's not totally terrible, to be honest. It looks okay. Once we sand it, it look a lot better. But you can see at the bottom there where I've soldered it and put the plastic on. So it's holding well. Um, so let's put a bit more secure bits onto the sections where there's uh, lips. Because I've got little lips in there. That will make sure that we've got the best out of this and the most secure, um, well, stable hold. So you'll see I'm just working my way around there. I've speeded up little sections not to bore you, but I'll show you towards the video where and how I'm making it smooth as well. So with the solder iron, I'm actually dropping droplets and then using the solder iron just to smooth it out slightly so it's easier job when I'm sanding it so it's not like sharp bits or big bulbs, uh, bulgy bits. So you'll see that's working out nicely there. I'm just kind of making sure that is enough of a spread to have enough hold there and at the same time adding the cable tie uh, droplets. Um, and when it dries up it actually becomes quite hard because you think cable ties are floppy but now it was okay so now you'll see I'm taking the tape off and it kind of just comes off um, and here you'll see hopefully I'll show you it but I know towards the end I'll show you a proper look into it and how it looks so then the top view you can see the cracks but look see it's not moving it's like secure so now we're going to do the same thing across the top and fill out the cracks there's a little section there that's actually missing altogether you'll see there's like a gap and I need to find a way out of how to fill that with something. I don't want to just keep melting cable ties and filling it with cable ties. So we'll see what happens. But I'll go along the line and make sure that's welded down. You can see that line is maybe, what, three inches long, the crack. And it went to a further f inch f towards the uh, footwell. And that big section came out as well. So now that's actually quite a decent job. Uh, I'm going to put a rubber pad back on top of this because this is a foot well so it'll be hidden but even then I want it to be smooth so I'm doing my best job here to fill all the gaps and making sure it's secured on both sides because it that's not mainly the bit the foot goes on it's towards the back but here you see now I'll get the sandpaper around just give it a little bit of a sand to get rid of any high spots and make it like nice and smooth the uh, this is more important with body fairings because what you'll see is if you're painting and stuff you want to do one side of it so maybe do the rear of the uh, soldered bit and then make a little dip and I'll show you a separate one where like I do on a nice body work but here you see I sand it then I'll just wash it off with a bit of water and you'll see the end result it's not too shabby to be honest it worked out quite well and um, so yeah I'll give you a bit of a closer look there so I'm just sanding it down and you'll see there there would have been little bulbs there I'm just feeling where it's high bits and kind of don't want to sand it too much that it gets rid of it but I did make little holes in there which actually meant that the, it held together so there now you can see that when I wet it that's kind of you can probably see let me show you a bit in the better light so yeah there there's like the weld but it's kind of like smooth at the same time so it's not too bad i remember that's both sides that bit of a thingy hanging off is just the cloth a bit of string from the cloth so there now looking through that it's nice and strong and stable i'm happy with that so 
we are done. That's how you do it. DIY yourself at home, guys, in lockdown. Do something. This is part of my scooter project, so keep an eye on the updates I do.